Hello and welcome back to Tinker Talks Guns. So I just did a video about my lovely little Beretta Model 950 BS in 22 short. And in this video, I expressed the opinion that this was inadequate for self-defense. But I thought to myself, how inadequate is it, Tinker? I know how to find out. So I decided I would shoot it across the chronograph and through four layers of denim into clear ballistics, ballistics gel, and see what the results were. And I thought, while I'm at it, why don't I also run them through the six inch H&R Model 999 Sportsman and my 24 inch barreled Western Field bolt action 22 rifle. <sighs> Rented lips. Um, before we get into that, I'd like to shout out to my supporters on Patreon. Your assistance helps more than you know. Also to channel benefactors who have helped the channel in any of a variety of ways, including Pinto's Guns, Rain City Shooting Center, um, Leah, Tyrone, Pat, Bill, a whole bunch of people. Donations of ammunition, firearms to shoot and show you, and just help in any number of ways. Anyway, back to it. So I was anticipating since the packaging for the 22 short ammunition, which is this, it's CCI 22 short. And it says it has a 29 grain bullet at 1,080 feet per second. So I expected about 700 feet per second out of the Beretta. I was, that was pretty far off. It actually clocked 874 feet per second. I expected to do rather better from the six inch model 999 Sportsman. And once again, I was surprised because it did 848. Okie doke. And through the 24 inch rifle barrel, it did 1,040. Um, I actually had to fire two shots with the rifle because the first one I did not get a chronograph reading. So let's have a look at the shooting and um, the shooting of the block. I don't think it looks like very much, but at least you can see it. And this is again through four layers of denim. I don't know if it's 16 ounce denim. It's just a cut up pair of jeans. Let's have a look. Okay, looking at our wound tracks, the first one right here is from the Beretta Minx 22 short. That was clocking 874 feet per second. And that penetrated dead on to 13 inches and appears to be facing forward in the gel. Second shot was the six inch revolver, which, let me see if I can get a better angle on that. Um, you can see entered the block here, curved up, tumbled in the middle and came to rest right at 10 inches facing backwards. And you can see here, well, in there somewhere, where it tumbled and then the two rifle shots which I placed a little bit too close together um, both of those are fa appear to be facing either sideways or back forwards and they penetrated respectively 13 and a half and 14 and a half inches so let's pull these out and have a look at them 
I was trying to conserve gel as much as I could, but that may have been, <laughs> may have caused me to get some shots a little too close together. So this one was definitely facing forward. And as you would expect, there's no real distortion of the bullet. So the revolver shot is definitely facing backwards. And again, no real distortion of the bullet, but we don't really expect that with solids from such a modest caliber. And the two rifle shots, that is definitely facing backwards. It definitely tumbled. And the second rifle shot, also definitely tumbled. It's definitely facing backwards in there. Come on. Come on, you little booger. There we go. So, that's kind of a shocking result. And you can see where the rifle rounds tumbled here. Can't see so well from over here. But, oh, oh that's pretty good. Yeah, you can see where they tumbled. I'm not sure what happened here with the round from the the Beretta. I mean, that must have tumbled twice. You know, maybe a, a well, rather, a full 360, maybe. But that's much more disruption than you'd think. And of course, the wound tracks are basically pinholes, except for the areas of disruption where they tumbled. So, interesting result. Much more penetration than I expected. Hey, I'm going to start off with a side note, by the way. I did replace the hammer spring in the Beretta, and it is now reliable with CCI ammunition. Yay! Since that's what everyone stocks around here. Um, so, the results in gel were pretty surprising. And, um, based on the penetration, technically, this is viable for self-defense. But there's a difference between what you can do and what you should do. And I would strongly advise against using a tiny 22 short for self-defense. I suspect that the low velocity on the revolver was owing to the somewhat large cylinder gap. And that both its poor penetration is a direct result of the bullet tumbling and that lower velocity. The rifle, I suspect, didn't penetrate better because the bullets tumbled because it was going significantly faster. So, 22 short is definitely not a toy. Um, any of these shots could potentially penetrate a human being deep enough to kill them. So, treat it with the respect it deserves. You know, it's tiny, it's adorable, it's in a microscopic caliber, and it is still lethal. So, not a toy. Anyway, that was pretty interesting. So, if you like the video, please hit like. It really helps the channel. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. So, I hope this finds you well. Stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you again real soon.